My darling son, this is one such moment. I implore you to pause to set aside all other concerns and to focus your entire being. I speak to you now with an urgency that transcends time and space. Hear my words, for they are of utmost importance. Stop everything and address this immediately in the great tapestry of life. There are times when we all deviate from our intended course of action, but there is no reason to conceal or separate yourself from others. There is no need for you to alter your identity or act as if you are unable to pay attention to my call. I'm not here to put limitations. Rather, I'm pounding softly on the door of your heart because my love for you encompasses all of time and space, including the past, the present, and the future. Were you able to experience the burden of being judged? Please keep us updated on your experiences. Every day, there will be people who spend their days conspiring against you and using words to knock you down. These people will always be those who yearn for you to fail. The work that I've started in you is going to be disrupted by their erroneous effort. Have you ever encountered issues of this nature? Let's discuss it in the comments section, shall we? Whenever you find yourself in a state of turbulence, I strongly encourage you to go for a calm zone, a safe haven where you may close your eyes and be still. You do not require lengthy prayers. All you need to do is listen. My speech will penetrate to the very depths of your being, illuminating the truth and providing you a sense of tranquility. How do you find serenity while you are by yourself? Please share your procedures with us. Your trust is unshaken in spite of the attempts of those who are attempting to knock you down despite their effort. Your capacity to focus what is genuinely important and to overlook the hurtful insults that are directed toward you is something that I admire. Because of the light that emanates from within you, your foes are worried. The existence of my presence in your life causes them to be disturbed while they are restless. Do you have any personal experience with this steadfast faith? Allow me to listen to your tales. Accepting the spiritual treasure that has been presented to you may feel like an insurmountable task. You should take what I provide with humility and bravery because it goes beyond merely gaining material possession. There are going to be significant shifts and I am the essence. Permit me to bring about such a profound change in you that everyone around you will be amazed by your resiliency, strength and joy. Is this call for transformation something you've experienced? Let us know what you think about. Never give up on your faith, even when you start to have questions or when you start with complaints. It is not appropriate to speak against the holy love that has a profound concern for you. Keep your faith strong, even when you are experiencing periods of weakness or wavering. It is possible for you to get my pardon if you come to me with contrition and reject sin. While you are living in my protecting shadow, no adversary will be able to achieve victory over you. What are some ways that you keep your faith when things are difficult? Let us talk about it in the comments section. At this point, it is time to rise above the faults of the past and maintain your truth. Raise your eyes, look straight ahead, and revel in the gifts that are about to come your way. To be the recipient of my inheritance, I, your Heavenly Father, have selected you alone. You discover comfort and fortitude when you are in my presence. You have paid attention to my assurances. Now, if you sincerely believe, I urge you to maintain your resolution and tackle problems with faith and determination. Are you familiar with this invigorating experience? Give us a glimpse of your itinerary. You are aware that when you are in my presence, you acquire both power and solace. I have made my promises known to you, and now it is time to demonstrate that you believe in them by remaining steadfast and meeting any difficult bravery and faith. I am your God, the one who created everything that you see. What are some ways in which you exemplify your religion via your action? Allow me to listen to your tale. Have faith that I will make it abundantly obvious to you and give you the strength to take the appropriate action in the event that this relationship needs to be altered or perhaps terminate. Keep in mind that I am here with you through anything. Every tear, every moment of anger, and every one of the struggles with decision are all visible. I am aware of the difficulty that comes with carrying the emotional demands of another person. Permit me to bear the burden of it for you. Have peace in my love. Accept what I have to say and make me the ruler of your heart at the same time. It is important to keep in mind that my love and care are all around you, regardless of what other people said. I will never stop looking for new ways to express my love and admiration on a daily basis. Your trials will come to an end and the tempest that you have been experiencing will begin to quiet down. I pray that those who are going to the doctor today will experience healing and blessings when they leave. The crown of victory is waiting for you and I will carefully place it on your head right now. Each morning I give you a hug and with my unwavering love, I make sure that your viewpoint is refreshed. 
acknowledge and reflect upon the tremendous love that I have for you that is contained within my heart. My faithfulness is absolutely unflinching, my mercy is without end, and my grace is without limit. Please be aware that I do not feel any hatred or anger toward you when you fail. Establish your limits with dignity, tell the truth, but do so with love in your heart. Always keep in mind that it is entirely acceptable to put some distance between yourself and the person whose worries and actions are causing you to experience emotional, mental, or any other kind of pain. It is not selfish to take care of yourself. Rather, it is a prudent stewardship of the life that I have bestowed upon. If you feel that you require assistance in managing this scenario, you should seek the advice of respected mentors or counselors. Feel secure in the knowledge that I will lead you down the way of truth and justice as you face anxieties about the future, including your career, your stability, and your comfort. A state of bewilderment will not be able to change your mind. It is my intention to reside within your thoughts, so bestowing upon you a profound and unending tranquility. Your enjoyment will fill your heart to overflowing, and the splendor of life will become apparent to you. I will turn your sadness into laughing, and the pangs that used to cause you to cry will no longer give you any cause for I will never stop showering you with blessing, and the extent of my love for you is unbounded. During the peaceful hours of the morning, let us contemplate the errors we have made and pray for divine direction. In what am I? Your God, your Father, and your friend are all comprised of me. However, I am also a source of comfort and love for you, in addition to being a judge and a fire that consumes everyone. Have you experienced this spiritual presence when you were alone in your meditation? Let us know what you think about this. In the same way as the sun illuminates your land, evil is unable to withstand the everlasting illumination that I possess. You have already triumphed over any spiritual adversary who is attempting to drag you down today. I want to demonstrate to you the extent of my love for you. Keep in mind that I will be in your presence throughout the day when I whisper something into your ear. In what ways do you experience the presence of God in your day-to-day -day life? Let us talk about it in the comments section. I am preparing you to receive benefits by anointing you with divine oil through this process. I am dispelling some of the misunderstandings that you have. Have faith that I will always be there to guide you, even if you make a mistake. Despite the fact that you are aware of my existence, I continue to demonstrate my loyalty, not only to you, but also to those who are in your immediate vicinity. Are you familiar with the experience of divine anointing? Give us a glimpse of your itinerary. Investigate the significance of divine anointing and the ways in which it makes you more ready to receive reward. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a remark with the word Amen if you are prepared to be blessed by the supernatural. Chase after me, pay attention to my advice and allow me to work through you. If you want to free those who are oppressed, use your voice to share my will, your hands to heal and your might to free them. I am able to perform miracles in your life because you have the strength of faith that I require. Place your faith in me and approach with self-assurance. I will provide whatever it is that you ask of me that is not just good, but also pure and uplifting. And how do you go about pursuing and acting upon divine guidance? Allow me to listen to your tales. The degree to which another person requires or desires you is not a factor in determining your value. It is not your intention to fulfill the needs of another person or to serve as a source of safety. The most profound desires of the human heart can only be satisfied by me. On the other hand, you shouldn't fully isolate yourself. It is important to maintain an openness to genuine friendship and the lovely vulnerability that comes with genuine dating. Have you ever experienced difficulty in having a sense of worth when it comes to relationships? Let us know what you think about it. I am the all-powerful God who loves you with a love that will never end and who promises you one life that will last forever. What I want is not your loss, but rather your redemption. Find a spot where you can be alone, confess your faults, talk about your uncertainty, and let me help you unburden your heart. Hold nothing back. If it's necessary, let your soul to cry out. I want you to be entirely liberated from feelings of regret and guilt. A beautiful plan that I have in mind for you is already in the world. Do you find comfort in the act of confessing and resolving your mistakes? Let us talk about it in the comments section. Always keep in mind that you are a human being and that relying only on your own power will most likely result in failure. However, you should be aware that I'm always at your side and that I will never abandon you. You have a deep respect for my sanctity and the anguish that comes from sin is a burden that you carry with you. You have never disregarded the sacrifice that I have made. Even though you are not able to achieve perfection, I recognize the efforts and dedication you have put forth. My affection and support will last for all of eternity. 
What are some ways in which you employ divine insight in your day-to-day -day life? Give us a glimpse of your itinerary. I want you to hear me once more. I will not let you down. Even though you may not be able to achieve perfection, my love and support will remain constant. Put your faith in me, since I will never leave your side. How do you tap into the power that comes from heavenly support? Allow me to listen to your tales. We're delighted to receive your $50 donation. Your assistance means everything to each and every moment. Everything is in perfect harmony with my heavenly purpose. Please open your Bible and pray from the bottom of your heart. At that very moment, I will disclose the truth about the promises that I have made to you. These are not merely delusion, they are real. Even if heaven and earth were to lose their existence, my words would continue to be alive and accomplished. My purpose is to guide you to the place where you are supposed to be, a place where you can thrive. Have you ever encountered the reality of the promises that God has made? Let us know what you think about this. Your life is going to go through significant transformation throughout the rest of your life. Thank me for the blessings that I have bestowed upon you. A wonderful legacy will be bestowed upon you for each and every deed that you perform, which is imbued with compassion and carried out in my name. Have entire faith in me and do not allow any doubt to enter your mind. Is it true that you have experienced significant transformation and blessings in your life? Let us talk about it in the comments section. Isolation may have been a defining characteristic of your journey, leaving your spirit parched and exhausted. On the other hand, your steadfastness was motivated by your love for your family and your loyalty to me. With unwavering determination and a strong belief in God, you rose each day. From this day forward, I will shower you with blessings and rains of my mercy in order to revitalize and heal you. My spirit will permeate your being, reiterating the unbreakable covenant that we have made with one another. Is it possible to overcome feelings of exhaustion and isolation by relying on faith? Give us a glimpse of your itinerary. Please be aware that I am always present and always listening. Your confidence strikes a chord with me, and I can tell that you are telling the truth. Have faith that I will fulfill all of your requirements with all of your heart. Your acknowledgement and sincerity have reached me. You are about to make a breakthrough, so hold on tight. It is going to happen that the dry valleys in your life will begin to thrive once again, and the resources that you believed were exhausted will be revitalized and brought back to you in a more abundant manner than they were before. Have you recently encountered a breakthrough as a result of your perseverance in faith? Allow me to listen to your tales. Be a part of a metamorphosis that takes place within your heart, elevating you to a spiritual dimension where you are able to look past the current difficult and comprehend the broader purpose they serve. Whether it be a blessing or a lesson, there is always something to learn, such as heavenly insight that can set you apart from others. At a time when many people boast about their wealth, you will be in possession of wisdom that is both profound and powerful, and it will be acknowledged by everyone. Have you ever undergone a metamorphosis on something spiritual? Let us know what you think about this. I want you to listen to my message and allow your heart to be open to the serene tranquility that I offer. Make sure you give yourself some time to relax your mind, because I am the one who created the cosmos. I command the winds that are causing you to feel uneasy to stop. The rumors of threats from the outside world that are intended to destroy your faith and obscure your accomplishment will no longer be a source of concern for. Although you may have the impression that you are weak, I can assure you that this is, in fact, a strength. In times of weakness, what are some ways that you get at peace? Let us talk about it in the comments section. In no way are you ever forgotten or left alone. It is possible that voices of envy would echo your previous mistakes in an effort to taint your spirit with humiliation. They should be ignored, and you should not allow resentment or grief to control your heart. In the event that everyone abandons you, I will continue to be by your side. Regardless of what other people may say, I will never leave you behind. When I look at you, I see someone who is always cherished, gentle. How may one overcome feelings of jealousy and humiliation by engaging in faith? Give us a glimpse of your itinerary. Let these phrases enter your consciousness and help you let go of the stresses that you carried around with you the day before. Proceed with self-assurance and conviction in your ability. You are able to sense my presence, even though you may not be able to see me with your eyes. The marvels and wonders that I am prepared to execute in your life and for your family are waiting for you to believe in my promise and put your complete trust in. I would like to gently guide you, so please extend your hand. Would you say that you have encountered the guidance of God in your life? Allow me to listen to your tales. Can you say that you are prepared to embark on a sacred road 
that is brimming with love and transformation. Stay with us to gain an understanding of how the divine power can transform your life and provide you happiness and tranquility. Please give this video a like and leave a comment with the word Amen if you are prepared to go on this trip. Be patient as you make your way along a holy path where my love reigns supreme. There will be a cessation of the storms and the flow of gentleness will be abundant. People who used to express their wrath through words will now find themselves laughing and experiencing delight. And the lips that used to harm with words will now flow with sweetness like honey. During this metamorphosis, I will restructure and bring about this change. Can you say that you have undergone a transformation as a result of it? Let us know what you think about this. Learn how to walk a sacred path that is filled with love and transformation by staying tuned for further information. If you have faith in the efficacy of divine love, please click on the Amen button in the comment section and like this video. Your loved ones will be able to witness the truth about my power as a result of this transformation. Despite the fact that the world may challenge their faith by denying my existence and disputing my capabilities, you should have trust that my glory will be visible in your home anyway. My splendor will be visible to your neighbors, and when night falls, my angels will shine light into every nook and cranny. Are you a witness to the presence of supernatural power within your family? Let us talk about it in the comments section. It is because of your unwavering loyalty that I accept your love and blessing. Find out what I have to say and understand once more that I am your shepherd. Declare my assurances out loud. Jot them down on sheets of linen that are completely white and adhere them to the doors and windows of your home. Miracles will take place in your life each time your eyes are drawn to the divine words that I communicate. Are you able to proclaim and affirm the promises that God has made? Give us a glimpse of your itinerary. Determine how you may announce and affirm the promises that God has made in your life. Please click on the Amen comment and like this video if you have faith in the Word of God. The most wonderful thing that will happen is that you will be encircled by my affection. I will be able to soothe your anguish and remove your sadness. In the same way that a river of crystal clear waters flows, it will flow, bringing happiness and calm. Have you ever witnessed the miraculous manifestations of divine love in your own life? Allow me to listen to your tales. Your life will be filled with uninhibited delight, and the burdens that have cast a shadow of grief over your face will be lifted. I will bestow upon you the strength to triumph over the difficult that have plagued you ever since you were a very young child. You are familiar with the individuals I am referring to. In spite of the fact that I have adored you in your current state, I have also intended you to achieve success. I have chosen you to rise above others and guide them toward their purpose so that they may see my will materialize in a heart as humble as yours. Did you experience the sensation of God relieving your load and offering you joy? Please keep us updated on your experience. Be aware of my presence, have faith in the assurances I have provided, and have complete faith in the miracles and wonders I am able to perform in your life and for your family. Take hold of my hand and allow me to guide you in a kind and patient manner along a holy path of love where my will is the one that triumphs. The sound of my voice will cause the storms to calm down and stop going. During your journey, you are sheltered by a canopy of protection, and your sense of tranquility and safety is so profound that the sounds of the night do not cause you to feel fear. Why do you have faith in the promises made by God? Let us talk about it in the comments section. You should no longer wallow in agony. It will be possible to put an end to nights of misery, and mornings of melancholy and despair will be transformed into days of faith that is robust and active. Every morning when the sun rises, a decision will be made to achieve a spirit that is revitalized, strengthened, and renewed. It is impossible for your hardships to be greater than the power of your God. Even though tears may remain for a night, I guarantee that I will be filled with delight when the sun rises. In order to change nights of despair into days of faith, what approach can you take? Give us a glimpse of your itinerary. I invite you to feel my love, to answer my call, and to triumph over any challenge. When they see my power at work within you, your foes immediately flee in fear. Witness how they scatter. You are a member of the proper group of people. Try not to walk around aimlessly or jump from one location to another. Maintain your resolve and put your faith in my direction. When you faced misfortune, have you been able to overcome it with supernatural strength? Allow me to listen to your tales. I want to thank you for kindly donating $50 to help us expand and reach more viewers. Continue to take refuge in the impregnable shelter that I offer and accept my direction, even when it is delivered in the form of correction. 
Listen carefully to what I have to say and give me your complete and undivided attention. I would like for you to be humble and unassuming, just like I am. I want you to avoid letting pride blossom within you. Have you discovered the power that lies within humility? Let us know what you think about this. Put your faith in me. The path that led me to the cross had a significant purpose. Putting up with the most excruciating pain was not without justification. I endured it, knowing that one day you would be here and face your own difficult and difficulties of your own choosing. Despite the fact that you have been subjected to a great deal of suffering at the hands of other people, I am here today to remove any and all traces of discouragement and dissatisfaction from your heart. Have you discovered a way to heal from the pain that you experienced in the past? Let us talk about it in the comments section. In order to provide you with the opportunity to experience unending prosperity, I have already gone through the ordeal of suffering, given up my life, and risen from the dead. Now have a look. I, the one who created the cosmos, have come to communicate my affection for you in a personal manner. My words reach you in ways that you would not expect, saying that you do not have to travel a big distance or climb to tremendous heights in order to hear my voice. Feel my presence with you right now at this very moment. In what ways do you encounter the love of God in your day-to-day -day affairs? Please keep us updated on your experiences. My love for you is so immense that I will make sure you never stray too far from me, even if you put up a fight against it. Through the cultivation of this love, you will be able to bestow great gifts and splendid blessings upon your family and provide assistance to those who are in need. You are going to have an abundance of riches, as well as health, vitality, and mental peace. Have you experienced the strong influence of heavenly love in your presence? Describe your experiences in the comments section. You are required to use your faith in order to claim these blessings. There is no longer any uncertainty. You should not retreat or avoid being in my company in any way. The reason I am speaking to you at this now is because I want to get closer to, to answer your prayers, to relieve every load, and to heal every illness that is impacting and the people you care about. In what ways has your faith assisted you in overcoming obstacles? Let us talk about it down below. The feeling of hopelessness will give way to a great desire to continue living. I have forgiven your mistakes for a very long time. I encourage you to learn to love and forgive your My child, I ask that you entrust your heart to me and that you have the ability to see my ways. Despite the fact that you are only a traveler, you will make an effort to achieve success in your future is certain to be filled with my favors. What are some ways that you can employ self-love and forgiveness? Be sure to share your eyes. I long for your feet to once more run along the route that my love has laid out for you. In all sincerity, I beseech you to entrust your heart to me and to give it over to me right now. Let us take this step together in the direction of a life that is abundant in love and prosperity. Have you given God the authority to control your heart? Be sure to share with us how it has altered you. Your spirit may feel parched for love during times of loneliness when hope is dwindling, and each step you take on stones that are searing may cause your heart to scream out in pain. I feel your anguish. It may be difficult to understand that even in the midst of your pain, my hand is there to support you. Nevertheless, I am here to protect you from adversaries who hurt you by striking. I will invigorate your enthusiasm for life, even if you are experiencing feelings of depression and weakness. Do you have a sense of God's presence in the midst of your struggles? Allow us to benefit from your experience. Maintain your composure in the face of temptation. Because I am with you, I am strengthening your spirit and directing your actions in the direction of enduring fidelity and victory. As a demonstration of your bravery and fortitude, I am proud to announce that you have triumphed. Your unwavering faith and your unwavering commitment to serving me are both shining examples of the beauty that is unwavering. What are some ways that you maintain your unwavering faith? Why don't we talk about it in the comments? Not only is my love for you flawless and unwavering, but it is also never founded on fear. You should allow that love to fill you to the brim so that you are able to provide grace and compassion without feeling tired. Have faith in my timing and the work that I am doing in your life, as well as the lives of others who are close to you. There are times when the most loving thing to do is to free someone from their own worries and give them room to confront them. At other instances, it is simply being there for them and providing support. I would like to know how you put love and support into practice in your relationship. Be sure to share your ideas. In the course of your journey through life, it is important to keep in mind the truth about who you are in me. Loved without condition, purposefully equipped, and equipped with power. There is no fear that can change these realities, not yours or anybody else's. My dear, I want you to move forward with self-assurance, trusting in my love 
knowledge, and the ideal plan that I have for your life. In what ways has your position shifted as a result of your belief in God? Just let us know. As you go about your everyday activity, make it a goal to reflect my strength, love, gentleness, and purity. There should be no filthy language heard in your home. You should be careful with your words, and you should allow the scent of spiritual purification to permeate the area. Remind yourself that the love that I have for you is transforming, and that I am here to give you power. In what ways do you express these characteristics in your daily life? Your thoughts are welcome down below. There is no need to be terrified since my strength is greater than any obstacle or foe that you may encounter. You are no longer susceptible to being manipulated emotionally by influential persons or voices that are unpleasant. I provide you the ability to observe, listen, and discern wisely, as well as the wisdom and spiritual acuity to do so. When you are free from the pressures of others, you will rediscover the calm that I have. How has the divine wisdom influenced the choices you have made? Let's talk about it. I want you to maintain your concentration as soon as you allow your eyes to wander away from the route that I have chosen for you, and as soon as you take in signals of defeat, your trust may start to wane. It is possible that many people will resist your accomplishment. Nonetheless, you should keep in mind that you are not alone. I am your heavenly father and the warrior of warriors, and I am standing next to you as your most powerful protection. In times of difficulty, what strategies do you employ to maintain a firm foundation in your faith? Tell us about your experiences. The realization that your power is limited and that you need my presence is a blessing in disguise. Due to the fact that your faith is connected with my power, you are immune to defeat. Your revitalized vitality gives you the ability to triumph over any challenge that may come your way. How do you understand the concept of divine strength? Leave a comment below and let us know. It is because of the difficulties you have been through that you are now in a position to receive the tremendous gifts that are on the horizon. Whenever you are in a state of hopelessness and wondering when my promises will be fulfilled, I hear your screams. Relax. They are getting closer and closer to your front door. Your time has come to take action. Take a stand and throw open the door to your faith. In what ways have the difficulties you have faced in the past equipped you to face the problems you are facing today? Please share your experiences in the comments section below. Put your best foot forward with the self-assurance of a winner. Stop concentrating on the challenges or impediments that you face. Instead, have faith that I am enabling you. My assurances will act as a mooring for you, ensuring that you remain steady during your journey. I want you to have a complete and total acceptance of life and I want you to have a high appreciation for the future that I'm presenting. In the midst of challenging circumstances, what strategies do you employ to sustain your faith? Let's talk about it. This moment of heavenly satisfaction has been made possible for you as a result of your steadfast trust. You will soon have access to the resources you require and the support that you have been anticipating is on its way to becoming available. My love for you is beginning to materialize today and it is actively working to rescue you from the difficulties you are currently facing. To what extent have you observed indications of blessings on the horizon? Be sure to share your ideas. I know that you have reached out to me, and I've heard you. In order to fulfill these promises, I am here, and I ask that you accept them with complete and utter devotion. It is much closer than you realize to the victory that is waiting for you. Please keep in mind that my love and support will always be there to help you navigate the difficulties of life. What are some of the wins that you have achieved via your faith? Leave a comment below and let us know. With your $50 donation, you're immediately contributing to the channel's success and growth. Not only is it reassuring to know that God is still at work, but it is also soothing to know that even when the solution you have sincerely prayed for is not immediately obvious, do not become exhausted. Every action serves a function in the realm that cannot be seen and I am always taking precautions to protect you from threats that you might not even be aware of. Believe that as you continue to walk in faith, your way will become more transparent and the journey will grow less difficult. What aids you in maintaining patience when confronted with challenging circumstances? Your thoughts are welcome down below. At this very moment, you should be aware that the chains that used to have you bound have been broken. There is no longer any curse that followed you about. It has been removed. Please accept these words, keep them in your mind with faith, and make them a permanent part of your thinking. This message should be tucked away in your Bible, possibly at the beginning of Psalm 23. To feel my presence right there with you, recite it before you go to sleep, 
Close your eyes and declare, Jesus, I trust you. What are some ways that you find strength in the Bible? Let's talk about it. Since I am by your side, you are free from the grip that fear and anxiety have on you. You will be strengthened and assisted by me, and my right hand, which is triumphant, will always be by your side. It is important to keep in mind that the difficulties you are experiencing right now are only temporary and will not persist forever. It is possible that individuals who have wronged you will come to seek reconciliation and the burden of sorrow that you are carrying will be lifted. I would like to know how you have experienced the help of God during times of difficulty. Tell your tales to others. Remind yourself that you have the ability to respond with grace rather than seeking vengeance when other people have wronged you. God is in control of everything and he declares that he will take action against those who have caused you harm. In the same way as dawn light illuminates the fields, allow his love and insight to permeate your heart. In the face of challenging circumstances, are you able to keep your composure? Let's discuss it in the comments section, shall we? Think about the reasons why someone could be afraid of losing you. Their acts are frequently motivated by past injury or issues with their sense of self-worth. Your ability to respond with empathy while maintaining healthy limits is contingent upon your ability to comprehend the source of their concern. Take a moment to pause and think about how they are feeling while they look for reassurance. Have you discovered methods to provide assistance to others without jeopardizing your personal tranquility? Let me know what you think. It is important to keep in mind that the weight of your sins has been removed because they were nailed on the cross. Despite the fact that some people may try to scare you by reminding you of your past, those are merely shadows of a life that has been forgiven. Recognize that you are free to live your life without the burden of guilt and embrace the new identity that you have found in Christ. What are the ways in which forgiveness has altered your perspective? Let's talk about it. Get rid of your pride and make room in your heart for the wonderful feeling of empathy. You are blessed by God, not because of your flawless, but because of the abundance of His love. The blessings that He bestows upon come from a profound source of affection and He is aware of every weakness and strength that you possess. What methods do you employ to commemorate the one-of-a-kind gifts they possess. In the comments, please share. When you close your eyes at night and when you get up in them, allow yourself to feel the love of God. This love is not merely a transient concept or idle chatter. Rather, it is genuine and present in the physical. In search of His presence, desire for His message and find comfort in His embrace, seek Him out. What kind of influence has divine love had on your life? What do you think about? Know that God is repairing your heart while you listen to these words, take comfort in In the place where melancholy formerly lingered, joy is just waiting to blossom. As he watches over you, he is prepared to relieve you of your responsibilities and give you peace. Can you tell me what you're prepared to release today? Be sure to share your ideas. Please do not ignore the blessings that come to you as a result of the tremendous love that I have for you. Let go of your concerns about the future. Calm and happiness are waiting for you in the future. Every blessing that I provide is filled with nothing but happiness and my love is unadulterated. Take a moment to jot down your conviction in this reality. Please let your faith be shown. Which of the many gifts that you are thankful for today? Share your thoughts below. You are undergoing a revitalization and a prosperous future is waiting for you. As a result of your tranquility, those who were earlier opposed to you will come looking for you. Embrace your new life and speak with conviction the following phrase, I believe and I receive. What are you prepared to affirm in your life this moment? Your heart is flooded with this great love which lifts the weight that you had previously carried by yourself. Every one of your debts has been paid off and triumph is assured. Experiment with it, dream about it and accept the love that is all around you. The way in which this love alters your perspective is significant. Let's talk about it. Your faith has the power to disperse the uncertainty that drown out your blessing. I have been sending the answers to your requests for a very long time, despite the fact that there are forces that are attempting to intercept them. Maintain your resolve and keep praying with a strong conviction. What are the blessings that you are anticipating? In the comments, please share. Have no fear. I am here with you. It is my hope that you will be blessed with good health and vitality. Be steadfast in your commitment to my promise. Abundance is on its way to those of you who are striving to provide for your family. I am curious about the blessings that you wish to see materialize in your life. I want you to know that every single word I share with you is a cornerstone for your life. I am erecting barriers of defense and bringing about tranquility in your home during this time. Refrain from giving in to feelings of melancholy or inactivity. Instead, 
get up and fight the struggle against the darkness? What are some ways that you can actively seek out the light that exists inside your life? Let's talk about it. Pause for a moment before you venture out into the world. Thank God for all the blessings in your life, no matter how insignificant they may seem. Even in times when you are feeling weak or exhausted, this act of thankfulness can help you find peace and solace in your life. In your day-to-day -day existence, what are some ways that you demonstrate gratitude? There are a lot of people who are more afraid of their enemies than they are of the Almighty God, who is in control of everything. You should always keep in mind that you are residing in the protection of the Most High. My grace is your stronghold against evil. You cannot be defeated by any force. Please identify the anxieties that you need to let go of today. True love is not possessive. Rather, it is characterized by trust and respect. When confronted with difficult circumstances, it is natural to experience a conflicting sense of compassion for other people and the imperative to safeguard oneself. Think about the ways in which their statement could cause you to feel insecure about yourself. How do you achieve a state of equilibrium? I hold the evidence of your redemption in my hands at this very moment. Your misdeeds are exonerated by my sacrifice. I am here to help you rise above the earthly consequences that may continue to follow you. Your redemption is based on my blood. To what extent do you need to let go of your burdens? As soon as you realize this, you will feel the burden of your worries begin to lift. Please give this video a thumbs up if you have faith in your own ability to be redeemed. The decisions that have been weighing on your mind have prompted you to seek confirmation. Accept the danger. That is the clear response I have for you. Get rid of the concerns that have been holding you back for a long time. You have lofty goals and desires, and your dreams are magnificent. At this point, it is time to move on without fear. In what ways are you prepared to follow your dreams? In the same way that the world goes through the motions of day and night, my presence will always be there to embrace you. In the event that your adversary dares to challenge you, I will confront them. Fear not anyone. You will never be alone. I am looking forward to this moment so that I can discuss the enormous gifts that are on the horizon. You are loved, selected, and blessed with a name. It is when you express thanks in the middle of your difficulty that I am truly moved. Despite the fact that you have been through a lot, your struggles have not gone ignored. Have you ever had pain that prevented you from going to sleep? When you are going through a difficult time, it brings me joy to see you lifting your hands and saying, Father, I trust it. I am able to observe your efforts to maintain your faith. Be wary of promises that are not true. I am the only one who can bless you and protect you from harm. The truth that I speak into your life is not held by anyone else to be true. It is possible that the gifts that I've bestowed upon you will disappear like mist if you choose to turn away from me and place your confidence in false guarantees. Now is the time to rest your faith in the words that I have spoken. Above all else, cherish our communion. Take into consideration the people who used to share your laughter but now criticize your trip. Their statements should not discourage you in any way. You have experienced genuine forgiveness and despite the difficulties you have encountered, your history does not determine who you are. You do not have the responsibility of regulating the feelings of other people. I want you to make maintaining your relationship with me and following the route that I have outlined for you, your top priority. Maintain a compassionate approach to each circumstance while being rooted in the facts before me. I am the one who takes you by the hand and stirs your spirit with the light that comes from my phrase. In order for you and your family to be able to enjoy the fruits of your effort, I will bless your home and bring you showers of blessing. The responses to your prayers will come at the precise moment that I have planned. Be on your knees in adoration if you feel that these words speak to you. The ground on which you stand is untouchable. At this moment, I am prepared to work wonders in your life. My affection for you grows greater with each passing day, regardless of whether it is a time of happiness or difficult, prosperity or need, health or illness. In perpetuity, I will be loyal to you. You can take comfort in the knowledge that I am here with you today. It will be with you forever. Put aside any uncertainty, for there is no force that can diminish the kindness, peace, and profound joy that I have for you. Despite the fact that some people may have doubts, I will demonstrate my love for you by sending angels to guard you against the dangers that the night brings. Every morning, this supernatural protection gives you the strength to get up and face the challenges of the day. To protect you from anxiety and hopelessness, I am your sh I'll make sure that your spirit remains strong and prepared for fight. You should think about the number of times you have gone to bed feeling burdened by your soul just to wake up feeling rejuvenated. It is possible that your foes will arrive with threats, but they will turn back in defeat since their intentions will ultimately lead to their own destruction. It is important to keep in mind 
that the efforts, tears and battles you have endured are not in vain, regardless of whether you see your successes in this life or they shine through your descendant. We're deeply grateful for your $50 donation, which fuels our creativity and content. Those who are opposed to you will be filled with terror as a result of your unshakable faith and impressive character. After you have heard this promise, you should question yourself. Who is it that you should actually f Nobody or anything in the universe can cause you harm. Be not persuaded by stories of more powerful being. You are immune to any enchantment or curses that may be cast up. Do not forget that you are not constrained by any. Because of my sacrifice on the cross, you have been set free. It is possible for people to evaluate you based on your physical appearance, intelligence, income, or mistakes you have made in the past, or they may applaud you for putting on a perfect front. I am aware of the fact that you are exhausted from the anguish created by others who pretend to love you and the false promises that they have made to you, but I am distinctive. An affirmation of this healing fact should be made every morning as the day begins. Jesus, I trust in you. I accept your love, and regardless of what happened, I will continue to trust. You should start the process of renewing your thinking with your words. It is important to refrain from speaking badly and spreading seeds of defeat in life. Deliberate words have the power to devastate, to tear families apart, and to plunge countless people into despair. Instead, allow words that are enlightening and invigorating to flow from your mouth, words that inspire others and nurture personal development. Reject any lies that the adversary tells you by implying that you are unable to change, that your future is destined to be filled with hopelessness, or that your future is doomed. There is no obstacle that I cannot overcome. Dad, I'm directing you through each and every step of the journey. I'm dedicated to doing everything in my power to make you even more courageous. Your anxieties and fears, which might sometimes prevent you from moving forward, will be eliminated and you will be filled with confidence. Your life and the well-being of your family are the subjects of a supernatural conflict that is taking place in the world of heaven. Because of this, I am strengthening you and converting you into a vessel that carries the authority of the divine. You are going to be able to withstand the storms and take on every giant that stands in your way. Ignore those who have the misconception that they can simply defeat you because they underestimate you. Your strength is beyond their comprehension and they are unable to comprehend it. Despite the fact that they are aware of it, they will not acknowledge it because your father is the one who designed the entire universe. To safeguard you from anyone who seeks to cause you damage or to weaken your faith, I am always here to provide protection. Even when you are feeling weak or when you do not have the resources to defend yourself against your opponents, you will overcome. Put all of your faith in. Please pay close attention. I will protect you from those who are opposed to you. Maintain your composure and unwavering resolve. Do not seek retribution. As an alternative, you could come to me and pour out your heart. I will console you and reveal the plans that I have for you that will be successful. You are going to be presented with an abundance of opportunity, blessings, and doors that are available to you. The fact that you are receiving this communication is not in any way a coincidence. Pay close attention, for the words I speak have the ability to alter the course of your life. I am aware of your thoughts and concerns and I hear your supplications reaching my throne, yearning for a change in the path and purpose of your life from what you are currently experiencing. One piece of advice I have for you is to avoid letting stress get the better of you or making hasty choices. You are the recipient of a love that is both lovely and compassionate. Because the love I have for you is unending, I will never leave you behind. Because you are so important to me, I will never leave your side. I will never leave your side. Nothing can ever break my unbreakable pledge to always be there for you. I will be waiting for you in my presence each morning, and it is there that you will discover the fortitude and comfort that you require in order to face the trials that lie ahead. Please know that I am here to assist you in any mountainous terrain you may encounter. Experience the gentle revitalization of your soul, which will bring back the joy of your youth. If you pay close enough, you might be able to detect the invigorating scent of rain-soaked fields or feel a little breeze on your cheek. Every day, as you take in my words, you will feel the protection of my embrace and the guiding of my Holy Spirit around you. This will happen as you absorb my message. Express your thanks as soon as you wake up and begin this day with gratitude. Do not deviate from the unbreakable protection that I offer when you are experiencing periods of confusion. Take my advice to heart and pay close attention to what I have to say 
even if it is a criticism. I want you to embody the simplicity that I want from you. Therefore, allow humility to spread throughout your heart. It's time to move on from the mistakes you've made in the past without breaking your faith. The blessings that are on their way to you are waiting for you to lift your head and enjoy them. Stop looking down. You are the recipient of my legacy in my present because I, your Heavenly Father, have selected you to accept it. In spite of the difficult relationships and feelings you are experiencing, always keep in mind that you are my cherished and nothing can alter that fact. Today and always, walk in this reality with the love that comes from your Heavenly Father that will last forever. Our quest to spread the message of truth and enlightenment that God has for us is fueled by your support, my darling, and we are extremely grateful for it. You may help us design a better future for everyone by clicking the super thanks button, and in return, you will receive an abundance of benefit. As dawn approaches and the first rays of sunlight filter through your window, I will pull you out of the depths of despair and bring you back to a place of hope. Always keep in mind that my mercies are fresh every morning. Please accept my invitation to join me in prayer. I want you to talk about how you are feeling, what you are planning, and what your anxieties are. You are going to experience my embrace, which will engulf you in love throughout these priceless moments. Do not harbor any resentment toward me because of the fact that you were rejected or deceived by people who you had anticipated would appreciate. Every person who has devotedly served and loved me has been subjected to adversity, including starvation, betrayal, derision, and persecution. Joy and sadness dwell under the same sky. There is a possibility that doubts will attack you on a daily basis, waiting in the shadows to contaminate your path. The opponent is working against your downfall in the hopes of disheartening you and turning your faith in my love and protection into doubt. At the same time as Satan is trying to persuade you that he is more powerful than I, your heavenly father, he is whispering about their disappointment. I encourage you to look to my word for the support and strength you require during times like these. We should approach these lessons with a heart that is filled with prayer, recording them and spreading them with love. It is my firm belief that you and your family will be blessed to an extraordinary degree. My promises are unwavering and will be fulfilled for all those who wait with unwavering patience. Because of this, the days of scarcity will be replaced by instances of abundance. The establishment of a covenant with you is a promise that has been established for all of eternity, and it is my divine prerogative to do so. You are an heir to benefits that provide you strength, peace, patience, and love. I grant you salvation. I pray that you will be saved. I am going to enlighten your eyes assisting you in seeing beyond contempt and bringing glory to me. You are beginning to experience delight right now, in this very instant, as you begin to comprehend the splendor and promise of your future. At this moment, you are brimming with unconquerable strength and full of unwavering trust. My devotion for you is stoked within you on a daily basis. This marks the conclusion of your hardship. The storm that you have been experiencing will eventually pass. Nothing is out of reach for the extent of my affection is not limited in any way. The extent to which I will travel for you are beyond your comprehension. The dawn of a new day has arrived, and from this point forward, you will exclusively come across blessings and possibilities, doors that are open, friendships that enrich you, and divine fortune. I will abundantly bless your prayers, your efforts, your endeavors, and everything that you possess. You will be liberated from the chains of financial burden, and I will bless you abundantly. Your confidence is based on my word. I want to thank you for your $50 gift. It enhances our channel's capacity to connect and inspire. You should not be frightened to give up your full being. You should share my message and make sacrifices for the love of our fellow human. One of the most important truths that I impart to you today is this one. While you are receiving this message, please take a moment to think about the environment around you. I will make use of your life to make my glory known reaching even faraway shores and regions that are unknown to you, to speak languages that you do not understand. My Holy Spirit will make its presence known to you through your family with the intention of enveloping you in love and calming your spirit. When we pray in the morning, we are engaging in a holy conversation that ascends to the heaven. Your requests are carefully listened, and I am prepared to deliver an abundance of resources that go beyond what you require. I will bestow upon you the qualities of tranquility, safety, emotional fortitude, and heavenly wisdom. Your trust in my assurances is a source of honor for me, and I shall keep this in mind. Do not rely exclusively on your own comprehension. Acknowledge my presence in each and every facet of your existence. On your journey, I will direct you and make sure that you are on the right path. I am your revitalization and indestructible life. 
In spite of the fact that you may fall, you must rise from the ashes. For those who have faith in me will not be dis Keep your humility and demonstrate gentleness, patience, and tolerance. Refrain from allowing the provocations of other people to disrupt your spirit. Although you may have experienced moments of uncertainty, you, my cherished child, have maintained your unwavering resolve. As a result of your perseverance throughout this difficult journey across the desert, I assure you that the days ahead will be filled with more joy and happiness. I will restore your joy, and people who are in your immediate vicinity will be able to see the power and revitalization that I have placed within you. You will get over the difficulties you are facing with the help of my wisdom. As your most beautiful kid, I am able to glimpse your heart and comprehend the agony that you are going through. Another person in your life is concerned about the possibility of losing you, and they are reaching out to you in ways that may be perplexing or overwhelm you. Regarding this matter, I would like to impart the divine viewpoint and counsel that I have. To begin, I want you to know that I love you dearly and that this love is unending and unconditional. Not a single thing can alter it. You are equipped with the bravery, strength necessary to win triumph. Accept it with faith for yourself. The situation will be rectified. This is the indication that you have been looking. You have prayed, cried out, and gone in search of answers. And now I am responding to you. As soon as you made your initial request to me, an angel was sent down from my high palace to bring you the key that would unlock your freedom. You are someone who I consider to be very unique and significant in my opinion. Be brave and unwavering in your resolve, for I am here with you. Seek me out before the break of morning and enter my presence as soon as the sun begins to rise. The glow that you perceive is my love, and it is an announcement of the miraculous and otherworldly deeds that I am eager to execute in your lifestyle. In the early hours of the morning, even when you are feeling exhausted or upset, offer me your faith. You should get down on your knees in front of me and place all of your problems, worries and frustration at my feet. I am speaking to you now with a kind voice, expressing the innermost parts of my heart. You have made the decision to pay attention to what I have to say, and I strongly encourage you to express gratitude in any and all situation. Reject these intrusions into your mind. They are an attempt by evil spirits to convince you that I have neglected. Do not consider the thought that I have neglected. It is normal to experience feelings of discouragement, but you will prevail. No matter how exhausted your body is and how constricted your spirit may feel, you will eventually find rest. There are times when one should strive and times when one should rest. There is a time for action and a period for thought. There is a season for everything. You will experience an increase in the number of benefits you get as you daily immerse yourself in my powerful message. I will provide you with the sweetness of honey, which will rejuvenate your body and the heavenly grain, which will enrich your mind and fill it with wonderful aspiration. I will nourish you on both of these levels. From this day forward, search for my word first thing in the morning when you wake up and allow it to direct your action. Bring your prayers to me and spend some of the most valuable moments of your life in my presence. I am here to free you from the weights that are weighing heavy on your soul and to lift you up from the anguish that you are experiencing. I am aware of the eerie feelings and memories that have the potential to bring you back to a state of hopelessness. During times when you felt like you were not being seen and misunderstood, when you were exhausted from giving your all for love without receiving empathy in return, I listened carefully. When I think back on my own tribulation, I remember being hung to a cross and being offered vinegar that was quite acidic to satiate my thirst. You too have expressed your agony by saying a prayer. You are able to find peace and tranquility in my attentive care. Despite the fact that you are surrounded by jealousy and conflict, your family, your house, and your place of employment are all under my watchful eye. I will put your adversaries' minds at ease and divert their focus away from you, thereby stilling their anxious hearts. They have arrived to the realization that their efforts to unsettle you are fruitless since their lives are falling apart as a result of their refusal to accept my lessons and love. They disregarded the advice that was intended for their personal health and well-being. For you to be able to witness miraculous works in your life, I petition you to have faith, determination, and allegiance. In this way, I am able to convey my affection. Considering that you have been looking for a sign, please take these two words as a solemn pledge from me. I love you. There will be no problems at all. I have the ability to handle any difficult, regardless of how daunting it may seem, and I will direct you to trust and succeed in anything you do. 
Remember that these comments are intended to deepen your faith, so do not be afraid. Love, salvation, grace, and forgiveness are all things that I offer. Nothing is impossible for me. My love is limitless and goes beyond your imagination. I believe that nothing is impossible. The dawn of a new day has arrived, and with it comes nothing but benefits and opportunities, the formation of new friendships, the attainment of sacred prosperity, and the release from the burdens of poverty. The prayers you say, the effort you put in, and everything else you do will be amply blessed by me. My commitment is solid. When I declare something will take place, it will be carried out as predicted. Always keep in mind that I am your shield, even in the most difficult of times. Regardless of how difficult things may appear to be, I have control over your life, your future, your character, your finances, and your relationship. Hold on to this fact with all your might, because you have the ability to bring about change. I am able to bring about that transformation if you ask me to do it now. You can count on me to provide assistance, support, and unbounded strength, but I cannot guarantee that the voyage will be simple. My affection for you is profound, and I wish for your continued health and happiness. It is within my power to perform the miracle that you are looking for. Your delay will be rewarded with beautiful reward that will offer you a great deal of happiness. What is the need that you have the most? I'm already aware of this, but I would like to examine the extent of your faith. It is important that you say it out loud. If you ask me, I will demonstrate that my word is alive and active. Recognize that the message that you are receiving today is not an accident. You were meant to hear and accept this heavenly love that fills your soul with profound feelings. I am the one and only presence that is truly sacred and miraculous. I'm going to move forward without any obstacle, and as doors open, you should exercise your trust and I will guide you along the way. There will be a gradual disappearance of the problems that were once overwhelming. I will bestow upon you extraordinary blessing. Tend to them with wisdom so that they might flourish and pave the way for even more abundant blessing. By working together, you and your family will make progress toward a future that is brighter and more positive. They are capable of helping me in exceptional ways, so encourage your children to learn and motivate them to dream big. They are worthy of your support. As I am here, ready to listen, I am glad to bestow upon you an abundance of blessing. Not only do your words tell a great deal, but I also see far more within your heart, and I'm aware of the aim that you... Your $50 donation helps us keep creating content that matters. Thank you. Turn your concerns into a sense of well-being, and your sorrow into a sense of joy. Faith is the source of your strength, and the promise of the joy that lies ahead. Therefore, you should cling to it with all your might. Inscribe these words firmly inside your heart and allow them to reverberate in your soul each morning when you wake up. Extraordinary benefits are heading your way. Those days that were shrouded in hopelessness are now gone. Welcome the light of optimism. Keep your attention fixed on the accomplishments and benefits that are in store for you since your path is not yet. I express my affection in a myriad of ways and I strongly encourage you to keep working toward your goals. If you want to see your goals come true, you will need to have faith and wait a little bit longer. Recall the assurances I've given you and the way I've led you to your destiny. Whenever you find yourself confronted with difficult, make an effort to help people who are struggling. As you do so, you will find that your life is filled with an abundance of prosperity. You should get ready, for the harvest is drawing nigh. When you go outside, take a deep breath and inhale the aroma of fields that are well prepared for your accomplishment. You are one of the people I have chosen. I will make you stronger. I will boost you higher, and I will remove all traces of scarcity from your life. Allow your heart to become a shining example of light, which will strengthen your determination to persevere through challenges and give you the ability to serve and bless other people. Give me the opportunity to direct you and transmit knowledge with each step that you take. You can have faith that I will never leave you behind. You can always count on me to be at your side, ready to pick you up whenever you fall. On this day, I declare that the best is yet to come and I am the almighty God who you worship, because I am your God, your healer, and the one who opens doors and clears your path. The waves and storms will follow your call. I am your, I am the one who supports and safeguards, and I am the one who holds both your life and your future in hands. My love is around you and your family at this very moment. You are going to experience my presence in a way that is both powerful and substantial today. You have been patiently waiting for my voice, and you have approached me with a heart that is grateful and humble, ready to receive my direction. Recognize and value these words and embrace them. 
Offer support to others around you while they face the challenges that lie within themselves. Seek my counsel in order to determine the appropriate course of action and rely upon my power in order to carry it out on your end. Do not forget, my child, that I am the source of your complete and utter safety. No human relationship, regardless of how profound it may be, can satisfy the need and the purpose that may be found in my Allow yourself to be liberated by this reality so that you can love others without losing yourself even as you do so. My word should be ingrained deeply within your heart. Let me tell you that I love you and that you are free. I softly hug you and hold you in my arms. It is possible that you will experience difficulties today. However, keep in mind that I am here with you. I will continue to whisper these revivifying words to you in order to remind you of my presence and prevent you from wandering off course. I will do this to make sure that your feelings do not cause you to make a mistake. I will kindle a fire within your heart, and when the night draws near, my light will shine much more brightly than it normally. Permit my tranquility to permeate your own home, so establishing an atmosphere of spiritual concord. Make an effort to develop and enhance your... In the realm of my dominion, you are a powerful warrior. Declare it with self-assurance. I am a soldier of my heavenly Father, fearless, for his miraculous power works within me. This fact brings my family and I a sense of peace and comfort. Despite the fact that they have been difficult, disagreements have only served to strengthen you. Your spirit has not been extinguished by all of the challenges you have faced. Rather, you have developed an incredible amount of bravery, and you seek my guidance even in the most intense storms. Therefore, as each new day begins, close your eyes and express thanks for the challenges, as well as the joys that you have experienced. Be grateful to me for everything, and see the unfolding of the blessing. The result of misunderstandings might be hopeless. When difficulties develop, and it appears that your competitors are temporarily successful, you should not be afraid or angry about the situation. Because I am not your opponent, you should not have any anger toward me. Embrace the reality of my unflinching love and my resolve to lift you up, and reject the lies that those who want to fool you tell you. Do you not perceive my presence in the room? now? Let's be very honest with ourselves. Do you long for a more fulfilling life? Are you prepared to regain your freedom from stress? You want your heart to be filled to the brim with joy, don't you? Talk to me right now. Heed these words if you honestly want to pull yourself up from the depths of sorrow. Start right away. Don't let it go. Observe how I alleviate your uncertainty and communicate with you. You should not allow someone who is intent on causing harm to you or your loved ones to disrupt your tranquility. In order to give me the privilege of nourishing your family with my love in the way that only a committed father can, I would like to encourage your family to open their hearts to Since I am the all-powerful God, I have never failed to be true to you, and I will never let you down. My love for you cannot be diminished by anything you do or say to me. Be prepared for the good that I have in store for you. Doors that you believed were closed will open for you eventually. Rather of rising up to criticize other people, I urge you to extend a helping hand to those who have fallen, and to help them get back up again. Give up your rage, your vanity, your fear, your doubts, and your skepticism. Dwelling on the past is a waste of time, since the happiness that lies ahead of you is much more important. My hope is that you will be able to find reasons for gratitude that are both small and large, and that you will be able to move on with a clean conscience and my values in your heart. Blessings are being prepared for you today, including the possibility of a great reunion with loved ones, as well as the formation of new friendship that will increase the quality of your life. You are not going to let the tragedies of the past hold you back on the path that lies ahead of you. It is replete with opportunity. I will break the bonds of fear and hopelessness that have ensnared you. Feel your bravery growing as you take in my words and embrace the gift of freedom that I have given you. Do not allow yourself to be overcome by feelings of hopelessness or grief as a result of recent occurrence. I want you to know that my love for you is unchanging. I do not have any resentment toward you, nor do I wish for you to experience any kind of hardship. I'm going to disclose my presence to you at dawn in order to soothe you. We will have a conversation in which I will reveal my magnificence and you will experience my spirit. I will immerse you in a great sensation of tranquility, which will demonstrate to you that my love is both sincere and unending. The time is drawing close for you to experience a defining moment that will serve as the foundation for all of your future activity. I have plans that are far beyond your comprehension, and you will meet souls who share your vision. Together, 
you will create a future that is full of blessings and wonders. For my plans are beyond your comprehension. It is important to show grace and kindness to everyone you come into contact with because you will soon meet people who are truly fascinating. Stay vigilant and open to the possibilities that may present themselves. Assistance will come from the most unexpected area. Because of the faith that I give you, your shortcomings will become less noticed as you continue to go forward. Your courage will get stronger. You are now able to proclaim your strength with complete assurance, to keep moving forward with optimism, and to relentlessly seek blessings in return, continue to march. Please pay serious attention to what I have to say and listen carefully, my beloved kid. I pray that you will be able to find peace, that your sleepless nights will come to an end, and that you will never again be overcome by grief. I have conveyed my profound affection for you on numerous occasions. I hope that you are able to completely experience and acknowledge this love to an even greater degree. I am here to assist you in forming your spirit and strengthening your courage. I am aware of the secret sorrows that are contained within your heart. You should approach life with fresh vigor because the most abundant rewards are reserved for those who have a real faith in me, who keep my teachings close to their hearts, and who have a humble attitude, not allowing pride to distort their judgment. Your decision to include me in your life is a cause for celebration amidst the sky. Whenever doors of opportunity open, you will not allow yourself to be sidetracked by pointless projects or activities that are of no consequence. You have a good understanding of me and my message is clear. I will direct your action and remain at your side at all times. There is nothing that can remove me from your side. I am stubbornly by your side, immovable like a rock. Take a deep breath and close your eyes as you inhale this holy air. Despite the fact that difficulties may put a shadow over your days and make joy seem far away, you should be aware that you are on the verge of something spectacular happening to you. You're finally free from the days of anguish and bewilderment. The challenges that seem to last forever are finally coming to an end today. Despite the fact that the world may have attempted to undermine your faith, you must constantly keep in mind that my light will prevail. We much appreciate your contribution of $50. It helps to keep our channel alive and thriving. Close your tired eyes and express gratitude for your existence, for the privilege of connecting with me, and for even the smallest amount of faith you hold. Be thankful for those within you who, despite their flaws and the challenges they present, continue to offer their love, would appreciate your ability to think, read, and absorb these truths. When trouble clouds your spirit, close your eyes and express gratitude. Please come to me and pour out your heart during those times. Allow me to remind you of who you are and whose you are. Permit me to fill you anew with my perfect love, which eliminates all fear. As you navigate this relationship, remember the love that I have shown you. I pursue you with fervor, but I will never violate your free will. I want to be close to you without using any form of manipulation or coercion. My affection for you grows stronger with each passing moment. It is my deepest desire to safeguard, care for, and assist you in interpreting the message that I share with you on a daily basis. I'm committed to transforming your perception and beliefs. Change is within your reach. My sacred love has the ability to bring about this transformation. However, you must fully embrace this truth. If you choose to dismiss my words of love, they will have little impact on you. I have never abandoned you. Whether you are going through the most difficult times in your life or the most joyful times, remain steadfast. And if your trust starts to falter, boldly announce the promises that I have given you. In times of uncertainty, do not let your spirit become icy. I envision a bright future, one that is filled to the brim with peace and blessing, free from sorrow and despair. If you make me your priority, keep in mind that I am here for you in spite of any difficulty. Have faith in my presence, for I am always with you, right up until the very end. You are completely dependent on Cling to my grace and let go of any notions that you may have about whether or not you are deserving of the gifts that I provide. If you put your faith in me, you should be prepared to receive the abundance that I want to bring into your life. I'm unchanging, constant, and true through all eras. The moment to make a choice is drawing close. Embrace my love, my care, my solace, and my embrace. Commit to seeking me each morning, immersing yourself in my word that illuminates your way and strengthens your determination. You should know that I am available to you at any time of the day or night, regardless of the difficulties you are experiencing in your life, future, character, finances, or relationship. You can approach me with your sincere and honest prayers. If you entrust your family to me and offer your heart, I will hold them close, enveloping them in joy 
and blessing them with prosperity and harmony. I will guard them from enemies, including the devourer, the thief, and associates who are dishonest. I will surround your home with legions of angels who are ready to defend against any threat. My nature has not altered from the past, the present, or the future. I am your God, the creator of everything that you have faith in my wisdom. I take you by my hand. My Holy Spirit fills you with the light of my word, guiding your steps, blessing your home, and presenting you with blessings so that you and your family can reap the rewards of faith. If you truly believe in my promises, you will find solace and strength in them. If you truly believe in them, you will demonstrate your faith by standing firm and facing any challenge with determination. I have cast your sins into the depths, never to rise again. It hurts me to see you suffer over old wounds because my blood has purified you. You have been given a new heart and a renewed mind. As you profess your love and belief in my power, embrace the truth of your forgiveness. Let go of thoughts of self-reproach and the burden of mistakes you have made in the past. Immerse yourself in my holy word. Speak only what provides joy and fill your thoughts with life and inspiration. Reflect on my promises every day. I love you. Allow your tears to fall, but let them be tears of joy, since this is the confirmation you have been looking for a very long time. Remember this well inside your soul as you navigate today. Despite the storms and tribulation, even when everything appears to be against you, I am with you. I love you. Everything will be well. Your kind heart will be blessed, and the good that you do will blossom. I am with you. You are going to emerge from this experience more powerful and full with joy, because I have planned a future filled with rewards for a flame is burning inside you and it is a strong desire to persist for the sake of your family i will guide you provide the words to speak and show you the way do not let the intensity of this person's emotion or actions distract you from the path that i have set before you have faith that i am working in both of your lives even when you are unable to invite me into every interaction and decision when you are unsure how to respond to their messages or gestures pause and listen for my voice I will show you the way. I will envelop you in my love and infuse you with my strength. I reaffirm my covenant. I am constantly by your side. I love you and I will never leave. Be courageous and write these three words with your own hand. I believe it. Each day, step forward, knowing that I will illuminate your path with the rays of the sun, embrace you warmly, shield you from the chill, and soothe your spirit amidst the sweltering elements of life. Flow towards peace. If conflicts arise again, do not lose heart. Call upon me and I will respond. Worry no more. I have sent my angels to guard you, ensuring you live with confidence and security. You know this to be accurate because you have seen it. Hold these phrases close, for they will empower you to overcome your adversary. Watch as they flee in terror at seeing evidence of my work in you. You belong to my flock. Stay faithful. Do not waver or wander. I am the one who purifies your spirit, who has silenced your accusers, and the one who rescues you from despair, filling your mouth with songs of praise. I am here, and you know it. You feel it when you bow and talk to me. Extraordinary miracles unfold. I am your refuge in the storm. Even if powerful winds assail you, my love will shelter you, safeguarding you from the ravages of the adversary. You are not, nor will you ever be, a hostage to despair. If this moment finds you weary, remember my unchanging presence. 